Hey, this is Joe from Canyon Ferry Custom Tackle. Just bringing out our latest creation, which is the Bugle Buddy. So those of you elk hunt and you do bugle calls, uh, here's my bugle, Bugle Buddy attached. Purpose of it, to stick on there. We can hunt, we can hike, we can use it, put it back, and it's quiet, it's not banging around, keeps us from busting the elk, helps us get another animal. Good luck to you. Here's what you get with the package. You get two identical pieces, two magnets, one with the fuzzy side, one with the loop side. You get two uh, zip ties and three small adhesive, uh, I call them dots, Velcro pieces to attach to the bugle. What you'll need is a bugle and preferably it needs to have a, a string lanyard and then if, uh, on, in the case of mine, it has a retractable fabric piece, so it gives you the smooth uh, plastic where I can attach this um, Velcro dot. If not, you can attach it on top of the fabric. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the Velcro dots and the zip ties that, are, that come with it. This, in this uh, setup, I've only got one of the Velcro dots on there and it's holding just fine. I don't need all three of them. If I put all three, this thing would be absolutely not moving but let me take it apart here so one case that you might you may just want to use all three of them but one case that you um, you might be more uh, inclined to use it is say some of these um, bugle tubes the uh, the fabric doesn't retract so in that case it might be you might be better off using three just to give you a little bit of, of hold power on here and then the other thing is, so say uh, I'm, I like to put it on my pack strap, on my pack um, uh, waist strap, but say that doesn't work. You know, say if you say you want to use it on your belt loop or somewhere much smaller uh, than your pack strap. Well, then you can take the Velcro off and you can work it with these, these zip ties instead. Now there's obviously a limit to how small of a, a loop you can use. You still want something that's going to give it a little bit of backbone but the, vel the uh, zip ties might help you if it's a tighter fit and you, you won't be fighting with the uh, Velcro as much. Just another option, you don't have to do it. Okay, so here's how I wear my bugle when I'm hunting. I got my pack on. I've actually already attached the, uh, the other side, but um, I'm gonna take the bugle and figure out where, where it will roughly sit there, okay? And then I'm gonna mark that. So it's right about here. And then I'm gonna go inside I'm going to attach the Velcro dots like one already is, and then I'm going to attach the other side of the magnet so it grabs on just like so. And I guess I can go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so this is attached now. It shouldn't slide around because that Velcro dot is holding it. And there's our, there's our attaching point. So now I can move around. I can use the bugle. I can put it right back, and it's right back to where it was quiet it's not banging around and that's the whole idea you know I hear an unnatural plastic noise banging on other parts of your pot pack it's just stuck right there and staying until you need it that's the bugle buddy okay here's the installation with three velcro dots I know this is where my magnets gonna go I'm just showing you the installation I'm gonna put the magnet in the right place I'm gonna wrap it so it grabs it's already grabbing onto those dots and I'm going to attach it just like before, through the buckle. Tighten it down. That's a lot easier doing it than it was outside. And there you go. It's all nice and tight. I can bring the fabric back down. That's it.